everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Um, I had to throw the video up from the Nevada Open Road Challenge, uh, basically because people have been saying how to go, we want info, we want video. So this thing's gonna be very crude, very kind of just basic, not a whole lot of editing, just to get it up. I just got back late last night. I'm gonna get this thing thrown up. Uh, as you can see, the car is a freaking mess. Uh, I mean, look at all the, the bugs and debris. It's just totally a mess. Uh, wheels are a mess. Uh, back wheels, I had to use digs because they weren't balanced properly. As you can see, it's just dirt everywhere. Um, the race was a blast. So first things first, we hit 160 plus. We actually cruised at 160 miles an hour for miles at a time. Uh, car did great. Uh, first uh, day we did the mile run and it's a very crowned road and I hit over 160 on that and the car was very skittish. Uh, did not like this crown on the road and it really kind of scared me. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, this thing is going to be a handful out on the open highway at 160. Uh, so I kind of sweated a little bit, a little nervous about it. Two days later, we went out there at Highway 318. I brought it right up to 150, then 160. And the car felt much better because it's a normal road. It's not this big crowned uh, side road that was just not in good shape. It's got ruts in it and everything. So it just wasn't great. But the main highway, 160, no problem. Car still, you got to be on top of it. You got to pay attention because it does want to move around in the wind a little bit. Um, I'm sure brand new Porsche or Corvette's probably got more downforce. Power-wise, not an issue. So we'll touch on that first. 160 miles an hour, sixth gear, 5,000 RPMs. It's not pulling like a freight train, but it keeps pulling. It'll pull from 150 to 160 in sixth, no problem. Drop it into fifth and it pulls pretty good. Um, oil temps, never saw over 240. Usually 238 was about what I would see um, at 5,000 RPMs at 160. Not an issue, not concerned. Not even gonna hook up the oil cooler. Uh, Dura Diff did hit 260. Um, I'm going to change that gear oil out, even though it's synthetic, it's probably fine, but I'll change it out. Probably going to change out the tranny too. I don't have a tranny temp, uh, so I don't know. Um, but other than that, the car just was great. Uh, we didn't do so well in the race. They lost a bunch of data, so we were a couple seconds slow in the southbound lane. Couldn't make it up on the northbound leg because they lost all that data. So we were like two and a half seconds shy. But the car will cruise at 160, no problem. Um, as I said, we had one, two little issues. One, the rear tires, uh, when I was driving up there on Highway 50, you'd feel vibration from the back, and I don't think tires were balanced properly. So I put Dave's uh, loaner set on, which uh, worked much better. Still a little vibration back there, which I need to dig into. Then, uh, after the second leg, uh, Patrick noticed gear oil on the back of his Type 65. By the way, all three Type 65s completed. I was in the 140 class, Patrick 135, Dave 130. I'm here in Dave 1. I mean, Patrick 1. That took first place in his division, so we weren't even close. Um, but Patrick noticed gear oil or grease, something behind the car. First, he thought it was some sort of road tar. Well, I looked under mine and realized all four CV boot uh, that cover the CV joints on the rear half shafts were gone. I mean, just shredded chunks out of them. Uh, holes, what the one that the outers actually, no, the inners still were somewhat together, uh, but the outers were actually missing good chunks of the rubber. I guess they don't make them for 150 plus mile on a sustained speeds? Just my guess. So uh, I ordered some new motorcraft, which Dave had. He'd swapped his out because they were leaking earlier a month or two ago. No issues. Patrick and I were on the standard Factory 5 ones. So Factory 5, if you're listening, time to upgrade those. Oh yeah, probably nobody's going 150 miles an hour. Just saying. Um, so that was the only issue. So how to get it home? We wrapped them in plastic bag, duct taped it. I don't know how much grease was left because the whole back of the car is covered in grease. So I'm assuming there's not much grease left in there, but it made it home and a little stressful wondering if they were going to snap or break a half shaft, but made it home. I don't know what kind of shape there and we'll find out soon enough. I might have to order some new ones. Um, as I said, all three type 65s finish. Uh, they all finish strong. Uh, Patrick and ours with the coyotes. We feel speed-wise, 160, not a problem. Six gear cruising. Dave's with a little 302 with 320 to 40 horse. Probably not even that much at elevation. Probably running, you know, not as good as it could be. He was topped out in the low 150s. 151, 23, foot to the floor and just holding it. So he's looking at 347. 363 is what we're trying to push him into. Go big or go home, right? So I'll throw this video up. Any questions, comments, shoot them my way. As I said, we had a great time. Uh, it is so much more fun at high speeds. 
Last September, you know, we crawled along at the 120 group. There were times we were down to 105. This car at 105, not even breaking a sweat. Uh, it, it wants to do 130, 140, 150. So, I mean, 150 started feeling pretty darn comfortable. 160, you were a little on edge. You had to be paying, paying attention because you weren't sure if the car was going to move around. Got windy on the return leg, and it would definitely blow it around. So you'd stay in the middle of the lane and just kind of let it move around. Um, but other than that, it was fun, great time. Uh, we'll get the whole back half cleaned up, throw in those new joint, the uh, boots, I already ordered them, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, enjoy the video. So I'll get a little video up there, quick and simple. Maybe we'll go to more details if people want it. I do have a video coming up on Patrick's car, his build, his thoughts. That'll be hopefully coming up in a week or two, but I want that one to be done right. This is just quick and simple, Nevada open road. Okay, thanks again for watching. Hit subscribe. And uh, I think now this is the fastest uh, Type 65 on the planet on a, on a, on a road. Um, I was definitely over 160. I had a problem with the digital dash speedometer. It would get 158 and then stop. So when I tried to go through the speed traps, which is maximum speed 165, I couldn't do that because I wasn't sure. I didn't want to get too close. I know it went over 160. How much? I don't know. Uh, the GoPro data showed consistent 158. So I know I was near that. And then in the uh, mile run, the digital speedometer on the car, which keeps memory, showed 173. What the actual number is, I don't know. But I'm definitely in the 160 plus range. Uh, so I'm right now, and Patrick agrees, this is the fastest Type 65 on the planet on a road. Uh, now, there are going to be some race cars being built that are going to be faster. There is some serious hardcore stuff out there. Uh, Bonneville guided to something, but I don't think he's ever driven on the road. I don't know where that car even went. So right now, this is it. Let someone prove me wrong. So enjoy the video, and I'll try to get more up. Thanks again.